Hey guys, it's Marco again. I finally managed to press record button for Vigilant Guardian kill. This boss is already super easy, just because we have double legendary powers and quite a good gear. This was a decently hard boss compared to other first bosses, especially since it had a big DPS check at release. I managed to get a 97% dialogue, but it wasn't anything special. I could have done a bit better, so let's see the kill. I'm doing the usual stuff for the pool, I do flashcraft, mirror images and then I want to start with the frostbolt pre-pool but now I cancelled the cast by, because I didn't know what are we gonna do because the, the, the main ad moved a bit so it was a bit scuffed. This is actually my second time doing this boss. I know that I shouldn't just focus on Vigilant Guardian, I like we need to prioritize the ads, but I'm thinking yeah these guys are just dying way too quickly and if, if we get a call that we need to kill some target I'm just gonna focus on it. I've got the thing that I need to move away from the raid group, so I use my alter time so I can go back to the same spot that I was already. Uh, it's always nasty when you get these RNG mechanics, your DPS is definitely going to suffer the more you get them. Ideally, you, you don't want to get them, for sure. Basically, as you can see at this point, this is tank and spank. Uh, you just need to dodge everything and uh, let the tanks do uh, their work, and that's pretty much it. You also need to get into these protective zones so you don't get one shotted outside of the raid. And now the guardian which is offering the protection zone is vulnerable so you can finally hit them. I completely forgot that's the mechanic in Mythic and I should have focused on, on him a bit sooner. I get another RNG ability, I use my alter time again so I can quickly go back whenever this happens and uh, I saw that my alter time was on a good position so I won't get hit by the by the balls so everything was good, I just backpedaled a bit to be super safe. My deathborn is about to come off cooldown, uh, that's gonna be really good because we have mobs now and unluckily I, I get another RNG ability and I can't really alter time this one so I'll have to move to the group back again. I waited for the orbs to like expire so I can uh, start DPSing again. I'm casting Blizzard because there are four targets and usually you just want to spam cast uh, Frostbolt with uh, Deathborn when you have three targets, even two. Uh, but I needed to move so I used my instant cast Ice Lances. Now I'm focusing on the defense matrix, ideally for the DPS you'd be padding the, the adds, there's like 7 of them and that could, that could have been a huge amount of damage. I tried to do Fro uh, Frost Nova, I was quite sure that they can't get CC'd but I still wanted to try and yeah, 
Uh, the adds cannot get CC'd, so you you won't get damage from the. It's not gonna be a guaranteed critical. And now the boss is soon gonna go uh, into the last phase, and we're gonna s soon, uh, and we're gonna do heroism soon. I'm focusing on the on the ads, which are a bit outside. Uh, I just want to finish them down, and this guy's casting, and I was gonna interrupt, but someone else interrupted. And now basically we're just killing the boss, we popped heroism a bit early just because we have more than enough damage to to delete this. But as you can see, it's a very easy boss. I could have done a bigger log if I padded more on the adds. And uh, also if I didn't get three of the RNG abilities, I could have saved uh, a few frostbolt casts here and there and that would definitely boost my DPS overall. And the worst thing that I did in this fight is the fact that I used my potion one minute into the fight since I forgot to use it on pull and I couldn't benefit from double intellect potion and that definitely cost me a lot of DPS. And that's it for this video, thank you for watching and until next one, take care.